Hi Mike, this is your second uh, video on your binding machine right here. So this is a Juki um, 1541S and we have it all set up perfectly for your binding machine. So you can use actually um, household thread, uh, which is the one if you look at the thread tower up above. So the one on the right is industrial thread that we we're testing it on first and then we went to a household thread. Household thread will allow you to have more color variations. Um, so that way when you're working with different colors of ribbon, then that way you can use that uh, Okay, this is a lock stitch machine. So I wanted to show you a couple things on it So that means that it has a bobbin underneath um, The way you load that bobbin is you come from the thread tower up to that eyelet down to Down to this eyelet right here. You can weave it through then you Sorry, actually this one you can just go right through this eyelet right here and then you Put it through the two washers which is the tensioner okay after that you pull it in and you actually put it into the bobbin you'll set your bobbin into place you pull a little bit of thread out and hold it and then you'll lock that on top of it and then you'll just run your pedal um, and then that will fill up your bobbin while you're holding up that thread okay once you got that filled long enough for what you're going to be binding on your hat then you can go ahead and take that and I'll show you on this top piece. So you remove this top and then you have your bobbin right there. You can put your hand underneath. You just release this lever right there and then you can pull it out. And there's your bobbin casing right there. Okay. And put it right back into place. Okay. Now when you got that all fed and you put it into place, the first thing you want to do is actually you'll hand turn this. So just use your hand on the wheel, turn it down, and pull all the way through. Of course this is after you've already gotten the top threaded. You might, you'll pull this down all the way through, and then there's the hook that will come past into the scallop of the needle. I'll show you that because that's super important. The uh, scallop part of the needle is right here where it concaves in just a little bit dips in and that's where this other hook from the bobbin comes through and we'll grab this thread from the top needle and then it'll hold it and then it'll loop it with the uh, needle in the bobbin or sorry the thread in the bobbin and then when you do that you'll pull it down through it'll come through link it and then when you lift it up the first time it'll actually pull up the other thread with it okay and then you're ready to be able to place your hat in there okay now a couple other things on threading for the top so we have the uh, top thread on the tower of course come through the eyelet come down through you can either use this pin if you want or you can just go right directly we chose to go directly to this tensioner so it just loops around the metal comes down comes through this and loops around that as well in those two holes and comes through the tensioner and the, the tensioner by the way is set perfectly right now so if it's not broke don't try and fix it just let it be uh, really uh, tensioners are really touchy on any machine okay then you wrap it up underneath that piece right there those two washers right here pull it up so you push back that spring and then you hook up through this thread sorry you hook up through this hole right here and then I'll just lift this up as it goes through and then it goes through and feeds through that hole and then down through this other catch and then down through the center of that and then there's this little clamp for the thread it also acts as a slight tensioner which is spring loaded but behind that and then down through this hole again to get it closer to the needle bar and then you're gonna go right through that needle bar hole right there I'll pull that up so you can see okay so down through that hole down right next to the needle and then you you want to thread that in from left to right okay and then you pull out about three inches long um, and then once you're here once you have that three inches long or six inches um, you'll actually pull pull the needle all the way through all the way down and then up that will create the hook for the first stitch and then you'll go ahead and with your five bar right here or knee bar knee pedal you can 
Swing that to the left, that lifts up your whole foot. And then you just put that in right tight with your, of course you'll feed in your ribbon first. And you'll have your ribbon pulled out about two inches. Then you pull your hat in in between that. And you'll drop the needle foot, sorry, the pressure foot. And for your first stitch, you'll actually just go ahead and feed it by hand right into the felt. Okay, then you're ready to go ahead and guide it through. And we like to use our hands on both on, as you saw in the video with Victor, take the right hand on the felt brim, and then the other hand you'll be putting back here to go create some pressure against the um, against the attachment. Okay, that's that on that machine. Now a couple of notes on the knobs. So we have this knob that actually creates the um, distance or the length of the stitch. That's perfectly set right now. That's why we had these two marks put in there. Um, then we have over here on the back. Um, well, if there's ever a problem, just give us a call and we can walk you through it. But this is this part right here is also the height of the the base foot, and we can always uh, unscrew this to lift that base foot up if it's a problem where it's hitting or not creating creating too much pressure on top of the the felt. But we have it set perfectly for an eighth of an inch hat felt. Also, we have. Um, some more adjustment that we can play along with here that actually will adjust the um, the walking foot height okay but again we got it all set up for you so it's ready to go and ready to start making some beautiful hats for you so thank you mike give us a call if you have any questions